Hi, my name is Jiri Zemanek, currently studying at Czech Technical University in Prague and I'd like to show you this device we've recently designed. It's called Megman and you'll see how we model it and control it with MATLAB and Simulink. Megman consists of an array of 16 coils creating a magnetic field in order to manipulate with one or several objects. The whole system is composed from modules. Each contains iron core, four coils and a PCB on the bottom where a microprocessor, drivers and connectors for extension are located. Modules are interconnected by a bus and controlled from computer by a serial port. If you activate any coil it will attract the iron ball. As you can see, it takes long time before the ball settles and also it's easy to shoot the ball away. Moreover, it's not possible to stabilize the ball between coils just by activating several coils. There is a no stable equilibrium in between. If we want to control position in the whole plane, we need feedback control. So let's go for it. First, we need position measurement. This is done by resistive touch foil connected to data acquisition card. Based on the voltages on the foil read by real-time Windows target, we can calculate the position of the ball. And not only that, we can also estimate the touching force. Sampling frequency can be up to 1 kHz. We utilize also online image processing. An image from a camera, seen in the right, is sent by camera link and processed in Simulink, thanks to image acquisition toolbox. The drawback of the image processing is speed, but on the other hand, it's not sensitive to the touching force. Great advantage is that we can find position of several objects as long as they are visually distinguishable, in our case by color. The processing is straightforward. First, the RGB image is converted to hue saturation value space. No, this is not thermovision, this is a color saturation and objects can be clearly detected by thresholding. Different balls are recognized by the value of hue as indicated by color in the left and by finding the center of a mass of detected pixels in region of interest we will get the position. We need also a model of the system. Equations for the force can be derived from Maxwell's equations but then we need to find physical parameters of the system. We used a force gauge connected over a serial port to MATLAB where data are paired with the position. So we can see how the force depends on the position. This can be done also in a plane to see how force evolves in different directions. We did this for various coils, its combinations and values of current. Obtained dataset was then used for identification of system. Since we know the shape of the force, with the help of the fitting function LSQ curve fit in MATLAB, we could find right parameters for the model to fit the measurement. The model of the field was put into the embedded MATLAB function and the ball is simulated by a simple state space block. This is the model's output. In the left, the potential of magnetic field is visualized as a deformable surface. You can see similar oscillatory behavior used on the real platform. This is the design position control system. Desired position is shown as a rectangle on the surface. The key part of the controller is a task specific solver for numerical optimization, written in C code that runs within a simulink thanks to S function builder. Knowing the model, the solver finds suitable setting of currents to exert desired force on the object. And now MATLAB controls the real system trying to follow circular trajectory. We use iPad to provide user interface, here to visualize currents flowing through coils and the position of the ball. Here you can see how our controller deals with disturbances. The iPad can be used also to measure the vector of gravitational acceleration, which can be sent to the controller in Simulink that exert this force on the ball. And voila, we have a ball on a plate. Homemade iPad app communicates with MATLAB over UDP packets that are sent and received by real-time Windows target. This saves the computer some processing time. The iPad is connected via Wi-Fi, so you can use it as a remote controller. Here the reference position is set and sent to Simulink. You can observe how controller has to rapidly change currents to maintain the desired position. Lasting capability to show you 
is Perl manipulation. Extended model and basically the same controller are used here to steer two balls around. And this is a controller performance in the real world. True, not yet perfect, but soon it will be improved, so stay tuned.